The most impactful education that I've done is with Paul Council, Money Mentor. Went through a 12 month education series. It was because I was doing one-to-one -one mentoring with him. From the first call that we had, I knew I wanted to spend a lot more time with Paul. I knew that he knew about things that I didn't know about, but I didn't feel like 99.99% .99 of people knew about. For all the experts that you find on you know, Instagram and books that you read that are bestsellers and such, I'd read a lot of that stuff and I'd looked at a lot of that content. And when I spoke to Paul, I was like, why, why does the whole world not know about this person? Because he knows things that those people don't know. And he has that knowledge across multiple domains. So when I first spoke to him, I was like, I definitely need to continue this education. It's very important that I engage deeply with, uh, with Paul. And then it was pretty clear that the only way I was going to get really deep with him was if I could set up some sort of group thing where we were going to receive lectures because he wasn't going to lecture me um, in a one-to-one -one setting. You know, we we're having dialogue and question and answer and he was giving me things to work on. But I wanted to sort of hear him lay out his whole way of thinking and his whole system of thinking rather than just getting kind of bits and pieces from all over the place. And so we put together a plan for a 12-month education and offered it to Real Movement members uh, at the time. And... There were 40 people who said, yeah, like, let's give this a shot. We did like a free lecture series before that. So other people could get to know Paul and ask him questions and get a feel for what he was about. It's $10,000 investment. So it's not something that people are going to make without thinking about it. But yeah, I was really confident that it was going to be something special because I'd already experienced the biggest shifts in my thinking on the back of working with him one-to-one. -one. So I knew the value was gonna be there and we had a money back guarantee on it anyway. Then we jumped into it and it was much more than I could have imagined. Um, a lot of the people who did the course said that it would like completely life-changing, change the way they think about money, change the way they think about business, change the way they think about relationships. They have a whole new frame of reference, things that they didn't know they didn't know, things they can have conversations about they couldn't have conversations about before. I don't know of a more life enhancing education that is available in the world. I did a $65,000 five day event in Hawaii with Bob Proctor. And I can tell you that it was nowhere near as valuable as that 12 months uh, with, with Paul, which we could have paid a lot more for. But um, Paul actually wanted to be $25,000. Like it was generally $25,000 to work with him for a year. But um, yeah, he was, happy to work with us at, at uh, that rate. And it was, you know, yeah, it was fantastic. Like the, the biggest results, and you can see some of the videos from other people and what they've had to say about doing the, the 12 months with Paul, but I mean, Graham Tuttle is probably the best example. He had around about a thousand followers. He'd been looking to build things online for years before uh, he had a gym, but he didn't really, he hadn't really actualized what he wanted to actualize. He knew there was something more. And uh, today he has 250,000 followers. He has a number of programs that are doing well online and he's really just scratching the surface. I'm really happy for him. He's been the most diligent, dedicated student uh, of Paul's work within that group. And obviously he's intelligent and he'd been doing work on other things before. It just hadn't clicked for him in a way that it clicked when he did the Elite Money Club. And you know you can hear from him about exactly what his experience was. Patrick Searson, I think maybe had 50 members or something like that. Um, and he went to a few hundred. He also launched his own mentoring for coaches, uh, supporting coaches to build online businesses like his, to get to having hundreds of online clients. He's now planning on having a thousand members and he's recently launched a, a webinar um, about boosting testosterone. He's continued to, to develop his skills, but yeah, there, there are so many success stories within it and um, the market will still have to do the work for some of the other success stories to come around, I think, with, with some of the decisions that people made. But yeah, people made big decisions off the back of, of it. Like some people changed careers. They got out of FIFO work that they didn't want to do. Um, they sold houses and became basically professional investors. And um, yeah, many products launched, many new connections and collaborations. Out of the group of 40 people, like there's hundreds of 
interactions where each person maybe formed five or eight or 10 different connections where they connected on products or masterminding, sharing ideas, running events together. And so I think the second one will become much more fruitful because some of the people from the first group are still very active and interested in the work. Others have moved on, that's the way it is. But there's a group of them and then there's a group of people who will do this next, Elite Money Club uh, number two. And then that group, they both have that same frame of reference and can expand. And Uncommon Success, if I'm honest, is really the fruit of what Paul was hinting at the whole time. Like network effects are very powerful. If you can bring more and more people onto this wavelength and onto this level of knowledge, then great things are possible. Now I had the Elite Money Club education from level one, uh, round one, available to everybody here for a period of time. And some people took it on and, and there were definitely some people who were disappointed when that was no longer available for free. But most people didn't, didn't really dive into it. Like it's so much more impactful when you've bought it, when you've put something on the line and also when it's delivered live and when you have a community around you. So what I'm excited about with the Elite Money Club round two is that we also have the Uncom 25 going on each month so we can have a lot more accountability around implementation. So each month we can have a challenge going on that's special to the, Unco the Elite Money Club, but people are actually gonna get things done to do more study, um, do more of the connecting calls since we have that already in the Uncommon Success culture. If you're not in Uncommon Success, you can still do the Elite Money Club too, but quite a few of the people who do the second Elite Money Club will be from that community. And yeah, having that underpinning system is, is gonna be very, very effective. Um, so there's, there are those three key elements, what we study. Um, that we, we study like the, the money sort of side of things and have a deeper understanding of uh, financial markets, trading. Um, we speak about cryptocurrencies, gold and silver, investing, investing intelligence, these sorts of things are topics for discussion. Human psychology is a big part of it. So the Gravesian model, Uspensky's work, um, which is the free ride bias, uh, the psychology of the selves. So there's seven systems that uh, Paul like regularly refers to, the genius typing based on sort of one of the interpretations of Carl Jung's work. Each of these have practical imp implications and you learn about yourself and you can then have conversations with others about where, where they sit and where, what they've developed, what they haven't developed within that. So the human psychology side of things, that was probably my favorite in, in a way, like the spiral dynamic is the foundation of uncommon success. And yeah, it's, I didn't even know that I was really interested in that because I didn't really like, I studied psychology at university, did you know, two psychology subjects within my um, Bachelor of Science and it wasn't great, I didn't love it. But I really loved the psychology side of the education with Paul. The money side was very good. And then, so the part that Paul is probably most passionate about in his work of art now is art is us to building good businesses that are beautiful and that really work. So he used to work with pottery and clay as a PhD artist and find work with pottery and clay. Now his pottery and clay is, is us and seeing us create beautiful things and create beautiful lives and beautiful businesses. And yeah, you, you see when he's critiquing copywriting and sales pages and landing pages, he really wants to see the art done well and you can see that kind of almost hurts him, bothers him when things aren't beautiful, but he, he is very, very patient as a teacher and he loves to see things improve. Uh, he helped members to sculpt presentations so you can have a sales sort of presentation, webinar, evergreen. So everything is designed to create these evergreen funnels, email campaigns, so that you have like a full spectrum business that can create real passive income. Uh, Paul wants you to have a stress-free life. That's maybe not stress-free, he doesn't say that, but he wants you to experience abundance and experience freedom and to be able to really do what you wanna do. He lives basically off-grid uh, in uh, a quiet town in Tasmania. There's wallabies and, and going over the fence and back and forward in his paddocks and uh, he has food production there and uh, horses and yeah, he's he's got himself set up for whatever may be in the world. He's around 70 and 
yeah, he's doing well. He's healthy, sharp. Uh, I'd like to be in the same position at 70, but yeah, he's been doing this now for, he, he decided to become wealthy at 40. He'd been living life pretty much on his own terms up till 40, but he wasn't wealthy and he decided to become wealthy at 40. By 43 and nine months or so, he was a millionaire and he'd flipped houses, renovated and flipped in a good time for that in Perth in the early 2000s in Australia. And he worked really hard. He worked four different jobs for income and then he did renovations himself. He sold the properties uh, himself, he negotiated. He's a very hard worker, he had the work of himself. So you apply that and then people wanted to understand, okay, what have you done? Like now you're a millionaire, like you weren't a millionaire before, you were good at art and you were obviously smart, but you weren't a millionaire. And so they wanted to know. And so he did webinars, for, he did seminars for free and then he was doing them for uni students and they kind of moved him on from that because he was maybe teaching too much, I don't know. But then he did them for 50 bucks and a hundred bucks and then yeah, it ended up being, I think $25,000 a year to work with him. And you know, he's still got a, very strong passion and desire to share this knowledge that he's worked so hard for. It's like his art. So he, he often asks, like, when is an art piece of art complete? The piece of art is only complete when it's viewed. So if it hasn't been viewed, then it's, it's not finished. So um, that's the thing. Like if he doesn't keep making art, then it's going to deteriorate. Like it's kind of over for him if he doesn't get to continue to to present and to share. And so, yeah, that's the opportunity is to allow him to continue his legacy and uh, to participate in it. I don't know how many years, you know, how many more years this is gonna be available. This might be the last one. Uh, it's very possible that this would be the last time that this stuff is ever presented live. I don't, uh, there's, no, there's no one else presenting anything like this in anything like this style. In, from my experience and, and knowledge of the internet and I uh, spent a lot of time on YouTube and Rumble and all those other sites as well. And uh, yeah, Paul's got a unique perspective on the world. He's gone very, very deep on a lot of subjects. You can't really get to a subject where he doesn't have some serious reading and knowledge and things to share that are insightful. Um, in my experience, it's, he's, always, he's always got something there, whatever you want to talk about. And so, yeah, it's a, it's a special opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. To me, having a fancy car or a, a house or those sorts of things are not as valuable as mental discipline and carrying good things around in your mind. Like who you are, it's an interaction that happens between brain and heart. That the better these things are, then the better the experience of life is. And I think that the opportunity to learn from Paul is like one of the best ways, things that you can do to enhance that experience of life, at least out of all the people that I've met and all the experiences that I've had and visiting over 40 countries and spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on education, the work with Paul has been what has in impacted and resonated with me most. And I've also heard that from a number of other people to know that it's not just me and it's not just because um, obviously, this this is like part of my business as well. I'm collaborating with Paul in this. I'm not going to tell you that there's no interest in it for me. It's a business. And yeah, I found someone who the world doesn't know who's really valuable in Ben Patrick. And I helped him build a multi-million dollar business. And it's sort of the same thing to an extent with Paul as uh, someone that the world doesn't know, and but they should. And that's that's what I love most. And yeah, it's also helping people like Graham Tuttle and people like Patrick Sisson and you know, lots more, hopefully you from the next DMC too, to get their wisdom out into the world and to present their ideas. So the format is a weekly call. Um, so there's a weekly call to ask questions. Sometimes there's presentations on there if there's something special that needs to be presented. Sometimes Paul just really wants to share something. So there'd be like a half hour or an hour presentation usually two hour calls uh, each week. And then there's a presentation each one weekend a month. Uh, there's a presentation. So yeah, generally uh, it's quite a high touch course as far as contact hours go. Um, and on top of that, you know, whatever interaction you're having with members and whatever you're building yourself is quite practical in terms of 
there's work to do, there's things to apply. Um, the first module that we did in the first DMC was the $25,000 offer. So how to put together a $25,000 offer and execute on that. And you know, I made one um, $20,000 sale off the back of that. So if you were to do that, it would already have paid for itself. We probably won't start with the $25,000 offer this time because we found that even though it sounded like a good idea and I felt as though most of the guys were ready to do high ticket, um, there's probably more groundwork that needed to be done. So we did later modules on sales, negotiation skills, these sorts of things. And we probably could have done more of that, more product development before the, the first round. So the, the layout is a bit different for this, this second round, but we're going between money, psychology and business. Um, so yeah, that is the, the format. Who's it for? You don't have to have a business. It's, we all have to interact with money. We all have to interact with people. So if you wanna do those things better, if you're interested in developing yourself and you'd like to be challenged mentally, and challenged in terms of your frame of reference and things that you're able to have discussions about, things that you're able to think about. For me, it's added so many things that I, I wasn't able to discuss before. I didn't have any frame of reference around that uh, now I can have those conversations, like things in crypto and trading and the finance world, but yeah, also in relationships, psychology and human interaction, um, and a lot of stuff like copywriting and things like that, I had very, very little awareness of what copywriting was. I don't think I even really knew what copywriting was before I, I worked with Paul, which is crazy since I'd been in business for seven years or something before that, but yeah, I knew what a funnel was, but I wasn't really familiar with the art of writing. I'd, I'd kind of dismissed it because I'd been able to make sales purely based on passion and getting on the phone with people. But Paul has shown a different model of business that's much calmer, much more stable, much more self-sustaining. I haven't really Im implemented a lot of it personally yet uh, on that side of things, for sure. There's a lot, like there's this, I'm telling you, like there's so much that I have benefited from. And, and so like, I, I, I'm having a different experience of life as a result of the education, but there's still so much more for me to do. And I'm super excited to be part of the second round of Elite Money Club. And yeah, applying what we're learning to Uncommon Success is gonna be part of the fun as well. And you can contribute around that. If you wanna write copy and things for Uncommon Success, we'll be able to incentivize and reward that so yeah, regardless of whether you have a business, it's, it's a good option if you know that you want to develop yourself, you know that you want to be challenged, if you know you want a different, better experience of life for the remainder, then it's probably uh, a good decision. You, you, know, you are going to have to put some time into actually in, you know, absorbing the content and interacting with other people on the, on the course to get the most out of it. But yeah, you're gonna have access to everything that the, is, is included in the course. You also have access to the first EMC. So yeah, it's a great bank of, of content. It's not gonna be the same as the first one. It's not gonna be the same sequence. It's not gonna be the same topics. There will be new uh, lectures, new layouts of lectures. But even if you presented exactly the same content, it would still be different because there's a different group, different questions. And different things going on in the world but yeah it is it is a uh, different i'm sure there's going to be a lot of similarities because it's the work that paul's compiled over 20 years it doesn't all change from one year to the next um but yeah it's going to start in august and um yeah we're looking to um just bring together a great group of people who want to put energy into this. Like the fun of it, a lot of the fun of the first round was the bonds that were created. So people on the Sunshine Coast and North Coast, New South Wales were getting together during the calls, um, listening together. Some of those friendships and business collaborations that evolved from those friendships, some of the most rewarding part of, of what we've done. And now with having the locations in, in Vanuatu and Montenegro coming online, and Bali as well, I'd love to see that there's a, a live face-to-face -face event for EMC1 and EMC2 participants uh, to get along and, and have some time together in a physical location. Might even get Paul along as well or, or do one down in uh, Tasmania. But 
yeah, that's that's basically the the rundown on Elite Money Club Two. It's ten thousand dollars or one thousand dollars a month, and yeah, I think uh, based on what he's charged in the past and and the kind of value that he delivers and the the effort and energy that goes into each and every presentation and and weekend, it's phenomenal phenomenal value. Uh, you can check out what other people have said about it as well, so you don't just have to take my word for it. And you've probably already listened to some of the lectures and thought, wow, this stuff is different. This is impactful and this is important for me to, to consider. So yeah, if, you, if you're ready for it, if you know that you wanna make a change, then this is, uh, this is your call to action, this is your opportunity. Some people are gonna do this, they're gonna step out of the comfort zone and say, yeah, I'm gonna take this challenge on, like it's a bit of a stretch for me, but you know, let's, let's do this. And yeah, once you make that decision, then you find the solution. So you can find the solution for where's the money going to come from? Like Maharishi said, wherever it is now, like there's, there's always a solution in the modern world. If you don't really know and you want to mastermind on where the money's going to come from, I can probably help you out with that. For most people, it's able to be generated through business. Other times it's sort of laying around here and there. And some people, some some people have family that really want to see them get to the next level. I, I don't know what it is for you, but um, I do know that this has been life changing for me. It has been life changing for other people. And if you can find a way to do it, then I, I think that it's going to be one of the things that you look back on as being one of the best uses for money that you've found. Since uh, money is really to help us improve our experience of life. So if you've listened this far, then I appreciate you and. Uh, I'd love to see you in the Elite Money Club course. I'd love to see you developing your goals and dreams and uh, yeah, here to support you along the way. So thank you and bye for now.